finally we're we're on the Polymaker booth. Indeed. With David from Helio. Um, Dragon's been out for some time now. How's it going? Well, it's been exciting for us. Uh, I think last time we talked at Rapid when we launched Dragon for large format pellet extrusion. And today we're, yeah, it's just like closing a circle where we can launch Dragon for desktop for the FDM space, right? And for us, that's been four years in the making and it's really, yeah, it's very cool to be here. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I'm, I see um, like more and more pellet every year at Formnex. It's like definitely growing. For sure. Um, so uh, it's a good time to, yeah. to have it already. Yeah. Um, can you show me a quick demo? Yeah, absolutely. You can think of us as the mold flow for 3D printing, right? Except it's so easy to use that you don't need an engineering degree to use it. It's just one click. Um, we have some example parts here. Uh, in particular, on the right, we have pellet extrusion parts, which are geometrically simpler. On the left, we have uh, FDM desktop part. And you can see here for this, for this part, uh, which was actually a part from one of our customers, where the, originally they had a lot of trouble printing it with ABS. Uh, because materials is at the heart of what we do, we were able to take that uh, polymer physics work on materials that we do apply it to their geometry and the optimizer could massively improve the thermal quality index while reducing the print time by about 25%. Uh, so this was really great win for us uh, in terms of being able to give them back a new G-code that would print first time right with much better mechanical properties, which they can then use as a product to sell. Yes, that's it. So in short, it's optimized mechanical and save time and more reliability. Save time, reduce waste, uh, and makes you know printing very, very easy. You don't need to spend a whole lot of time dialing in a new material or dialing in a new part. Cool, yeah, so I see you, um, you, uh, you could, it's based on tokens. Um, so users can just buy a package of tokens and then that correlates to the layers that are, that are being analyzed? That's right, so for the pellet extrusion business, we have a token system, so consumption, but if you are doing like mass production with multiple machines, you can also buy a yearly subscription, so you kind of have that as a base mm. price settled. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so uh, I mean, that's a good way for people to get their foot in the door, right? And Absolutely. then uh, yeah. and, uh, start, start printing, right? Yeah, definitely. So we have some example prints here. Yeah, I think there are some, some great examples of the kind of thing that Dragon can achieve in this space. Um, this was actually an original part from a company called Trash House. Uh, they were doing amazing stuff with recycled materials. This is a recycled polycarbonate. And you can, but you can see some of the print quality issues around warping and deformation that they've been having. And across their range of printers, it was very difficult for them to predict when this kind of defect would appear and to then deal with that. We were able to give them, we were able to give them a G code that would print perfectly on each of their printers all the time. And that's a huge um, reduction in uncertainty for them. And that allows them to print with confidence. Yeah, that's really interesting. So it's like, um, because they're using a recycled material, there's more chance of having uh, problems, right? So then that makes more reason to, to use an, uh, a system like Dragon. Absolutely, and material flexibility, material choice is the core reason why uh, it's important to be able to use Dragon. We want people to use the perfect, a perfect material for their application and not compromise based on what they're comfortable with in their process. Cool. So, um, yeah, so do you have any other insights or any other sort of industry um, directions that you've, you've gained in the last couple of days? Well, I think the last couple of days really reinforced how powerful the partnership with Polymaker is and this ability to be working together uh, with a materials company where innovation and material choice and finding the perfect material for that application <laughs> is really in focus. Uh, and I think these are strengths that we'll continue to leverage. Yeah, I mean, um, from my side, um, I've definitely heard more and more about the uh, recycled materials yes. and uh, the sort of sustainability side. I think more and more people are asking for recycled. So uh, that having, you know, your system uh, in place is really at the right time in the direction that, that I see it going. Yes. So this is an industry that desperately needs material choice. Uh, you know, for 
let's say, mainstream manufacturing industry, having 10, 15,000 materials is not a particularly strange thing. I do not think we could gather, you know, even 2,000 materials at Form Next Year today. Uh, but at Helio, our goal is to make sure that the industry has access to those 10,000 materials that they need over the future years. Great. Okay. Well, I think that explains it pretty well. Thanks for, uh, thanks for talking to me. Thanks for taking the time.